it's another day so that means we have another theories on tiktok that will make us question reality make us rethink reality change our perspectives etc 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 but it's not just tiktok it's instagram it's facebook and youtube shorts as well shout out to all you guys that keep sending over videos please don't stop if you want your video on here along with a shout out from yours truly Please add the Discord, the link is in the description down below. Also, I know y'all see it. I'm just gonna say this. If your favorite influencer isn't rocking their merch, but they sharing their merch and telling y'all to support, but you ain't never seen them in it. Cause one thing about me, I would be in my stuff. I made it, I might as well wrap it. But y'all go check it out. I have more merch, link in the description down below. Y'all rock stuff that's gonna be edifying to not only you, but for those that are around you and that are reading what's on your shirt or hoodie or crew neck, et cetera, et cetera. But let's go ahead and get into today's reaction video. Thank you, I see you are the first shout out of the day. Assembly, look at this, look at this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the Ford. We're lighting Pretty Sky awesome. Day before Hurricane hits what LA. What are the odds that these all these lights are here a day before the hurricane? Look at that, yeah bro, look. Yeah, I'm getting out of the car. Yeah. I wanna know where y'all, like, what area y'all leave? I'm gonna get up here. And that's, that's my area. What are the odds? Look at this. Oh! Them, bro. I am. They're just glowing balls of light, bro. They're not making any noise, too. Look at One, that. One, two, three, four, five. Zoom, zoom in on that shit. Yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> they're like disappearing in light. You see that? Yeah. That's weird. So I see six. You see that shit? I don't know where the other one went. Look, the lights are all, wait, they're all disappearing. Look, that one about to Dude. disappear. Now it's just one left. Yep, right. this one right here. What the? It's the coincidence that they're all here a day before the hurricane, bro. Look, that one's starting to disappear. Whoa. <laughs> That's oh. weird. Gone. Ah, I still see it, but it's gone now. Yeah, that was weird. Dude. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh, man. Shout out to my girl, Akiva, Adola Akiva, for the next couple of videos that you guys are about to see. There's this scene in They Clone Tyrone. Where there's a black woman at the beauty salon and right before she gets a perm and she gets the hair relaxer in her hair she's complaining about her job as a teacher she's talking about how she has 44 kids in her classroom and how she has to use her own money to buy school supplies for her classroom even cutting into the fund that pays for her gas in the midst of all of this she goes on to talk about how the school board is going to cut their pay again and as she's talking and venting and expressing her frustration and possibly on the precipice of formulating an idea that would lead to the formation of a teacher strike, her hairdresser begins to apply the relaxer. And just like that, her frustrations are gone. It was like she was sedated or poisoned or distracted because she's like, yo, maybe I'm just tripping. But that wasn't just a movie scene to me. It felt like a clip from a documentary because real talk is like Dang. these hair relaxer companies are sedating our black women. And it's not because they fall under a trance and forget the injustices they're faced with. It's because black women who use hair relaxers specifically from those companies are more at risk for uterine and ovarian. So time spent fighting grave injustices is now spent fighting and subsequently taking them away from their true essence. But then it's like a lose-lose because if this woman was a real person, then it's almost like she was probably getting his hair relaxer to be deemed more presentable. 
again the movie has so much revelation in it it's crazy and what's even crazier is i forgot that part was in the movie so i was like what is he talking about like i don't remember that but then i do remember because she was talking she was going off she was saying some stuff and then what happened was they put that relaxer in and it was just like you know maybe, maybe i'm tripping maybe i'm doing too much no it's some stuff in that but i do have a question for all my my ladies my the black women did you guys grow up on hair relaxers is this still something that you guys use today because a movie that exposed something like this they put the truth in there it's just for those that's gonna catch it are going to catch it for those that don't they don't uh i didn't grow up on hair relaxers all i heard was that it burns it doesn't feel good but i guess the outcome is beautiful but it makes sense because they doing stuff and then they're, they're putting stuff like when you put that on you is doing something to you so that's all. I just had a question if you guys grew up on relaxers or not. I found Charlie in the Chocolate Factory with Willie Wonka and them. Well, I just found out that the Oompa Loompas weren't from Loompa Land. Nay, nay. Nay, nay. They were enslaved Africans. Willie Wonka yeah. was an enslaver giving away tickets to white children to tour his chocolate plantation. Bruh, let me show you. Here's the modern sanitized version of the book. Aren't they fantastic? No higher than my knee. Look at their funny long hair. Now the original and most popular version during the book's peak. Aren't they fantastic? No higher than my knee. Their skin is almost black. Pygmies they are, imported direct from Africa. I discovered them myself. I brought them over from Africa myself, the whole tribe of them, 3,000 in all. He goes on to say that he smuggled them in large packing cases with holes in them. The Bantu tribe was convinced to work and live at the factory in exchange for cacao beans. Beans. They worked <laughs> for beans. beans. And now my childhood visceral distaste for this film makes a whole lot more sense. We turn now to another shocking story. This one out of Detroit, Michigan, involving a woman named Portia Woodruff, who was eight months pregnant when police mistakenly arrested her for robbery and carjacking. Six officers showed up at her home when she was getting her little daughters ready for school. They took her down to the station held her for 11 hours 11? and released her on $100,000 bonds. Uh, Portia Woodruff says she started having contractions in jail, had to be taken to the hospital after her release due to dehydration. A month later, after her arrest, prosecutors dropped the case because the Detroit police had made the arrest based on a faulty AI, artificial intelligence, facial recognition match. According to the ACLU, Portia Woodruff is the first woman, at least the sixth person, to report being falsely accused of a crime as a result of facial recognition technology. Whoa. All six people have been black. Portia Woodruff is now suing the city of Detroit. I don't blame her. There's a... Y'all know me! I'm, I can't bring it out. Anytime it's a movie or a show, I'm going to... Because I want you guys to see that they put this stuff in movies, y'all. This stuff that be happening in real life be in these movies. There was... If I'm not mistaken, it was either Netflix or it was Tubi. Don't sleep on Tubi. <laughs> Don't sleep on Tubi. But it, I think it was Netflix. And there was a movie about how this girl had... They said she did something. And when they played the video back on the news, it was like, we're looking for this woman. It was a picture of her. It was... They did AI to where... I, I wish I could remember the movie. It was a movie where I don't know if she hijacked something. It was something about a bus. Because I think she had got on the bus and then that bus kind of detected her face. And they took her face and they put it on this robber's face. So when they showed it on the news, hey, we're looking for this person, code red type stuff. She's looking at herself like, is that me? But mind you, she didn't do the robbery. Like, it was a robbery or whatever the case is. And it, they, they used AI and it made it look like she did it and she didn't. So she's having to run for her life for a crime she didn't commit. If I find that movie, I'm, I'm going to pop it up here. Y'all know me. I'm, I'm going to put it somewhere so that y'all can see it. I don't know if it's a movie or a series, but that was on there and i thought it was so interesting so this stuff really be happening see ai be having its pros but it also has its cons oh then another thing but i just saw a movie it's called hypnotic first of all i recommend everybody to watch that but there was a a scene in particular where the guy wore an eye patch i don't want to give out the movie just in case y'all didn't see it but he wore an eye patch and i forgot if she said like you still wearing an eye patch or why are you wearing an eye patch and he said because facial recognition won't pick up 
So it's ways to get around this facial recognition slash AI stuff. We just gotta look at the movies and hear what they telling us. Hey, that moved to the US, let me show you something. So this is American ketchup, right? And if you look at the ingredients, all that high stuff. fructose corn syrup. Yeah. Okay. And then this is the exact same brand, same in ketchup Canada. that I bought in Canada while I was visiting this weekend. There's a maple leaf. Okay. Look at this. None of that. Tomato paste, sugar, vinegar, salt, spices. Made with five simple ingredients. This is why America makes you sick. Ever since moving here, honestly, I've noticed a little big difference in the quality of food just in the quality of everything like it's shocking it's honestly annoying i don't know if you guys been to the store but i'm so i'm the type where i'm looking at ingredients i don't know when i got into that you know what the hebrew walk got me into that you want to know why because thank you yahuwah because i was like like i low-key forgot when how i got into it the hebrew walk this Hebrew lifestyle, this Hebrew way of living, because you have to look at ingredients when you, when you live this way, because you know, the dietary laws, we're not supposed to eat certain things. Yahuwah has declared, Hey, this is clean. And this is unclean. This is clean food. This is unclean food. I don't want you eating unclean. So that's just how it is. Whatever you will say, we go with long story short. I said all that to say they put so much off of the walk. I'm saying how I got into it, but it's because they put pork in everything. Pork is it like pork is in the most un unthinkable thing that you can think of they have pork like i have mentioned before in jiffy cornbread why is pork in jiffy cornbread they have pork in gummy bears why is pork in gummy bears they have pork in certain toothpaste let me just get to the point here if y'all didn't know now y'all know i started looking at ingredients because it got to a point where i'm like ketchup should be so simple to make it shouldn't take where the list is like this big on the back of the of the list of the ingredient list it shouldn't take all that. It's stuff that I can't even pronounce. So I shouldn't be eating it. If I can't pronounce it, I shouldn't eat it. I don't know what they're doing to America. I do know. And y'all know. But you get what I'm saying. That It's just crazy how certain countries just do things differently. But America, the American dream, where people are trying to fight to get here. Yes. What is canola oil? In fact, what is a canola plant? Can you tell me what it looks like? I would argue no, because there's no such thing. Canola is an abbreviation for Canadian oil low acid. Where is this all coming from and what does this mean? Well, the rapeseed plant makes something called rapeseed oil, which was used as a lubricant that in the sound oil good. industry. And one day somebody said, I wonder if we can use this cheap oil as food for humans. And they found that it was very intense in a specific acid that was very damaging and unhealthy. So Canadian scientists said, I'm going to genetically engineer this to make something new. And that is now called canola, but it still comes from rapeseed. And it is basically automotive oil that has been altered so that you can eat it. It still goes through the same industrial process, which is highly toxic. And if you were to see it, you would never touch it again. Highly recommend you do not use products like this. This is one of the major sources of chronic disease today. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> canola oil. Can I, can I watch that one more time? Because... I mean, I'm not an oil girl, but this is nice to know. And then for those, you know, my people, when I say my people, y'all already know what I'm talking about. My people be cooking with this type of stuff. We gotta come off of this. Cause they, when I tell you, they trying to unalive people and it be through the most simplest things. I gotta play this one more time. I gotta make sure I heard what I heard. The fact automotive, I don't know that is what I do industry. What is wrong with y'all? What is canola oil? In fact, what is a canola plant? Can you tell me what it looks like? I would argue no, because there's no such thing. Canola is an abbreviation for Canadian oil low acid. Where is this all coming from and what does this mean? Well, the rapeseed plant makes something called rapeseed oil, which was used as a lubricant in the automotive industry. And one day somebody <laughs> said, I wonder if we can use this cheap oil as food for humans. Who think like that? that? It was very intense and a specific acid that was very damaging and unhealthy. So Canadian scientists said, I'm going to genetically engineer this to make something new. And that is now called canola, but it still comes from rapeseed. And it is basically automotive oil that has been altered so that you can eat it. It still goes through the same industrial processing, which is highly toxic. And if you were to see it, you would never touch it again. Highly recommend you do not use products like this. This is one of the major sources of chronic disease today. <laughs> this 
why they say health as well. That's ridiculous. So canola, I don't, I don't eat that, but I'm, I'm glad. Cause now if I was to ever try to go and buy this stuff, now I'm saving me some money and my health and my life. I love information like this. I really, this, this did something. I know this was probably so simple or you didn't know that perky. No, I didn't. No, I'm not ashamed to say I don't either. I'm so not ashamed to say I don't know this or I didn't know this. Little, did you ever do the little counting mechanism, nursing rhyme, any, many, mighty, mo, cash, talk, my toe? You ever, you ever do that? Yeah. Which I, I just found out that there was never a type. What was and it? It was a mm, hard, a hard R. 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 Hold on. Let me show you. Apparently, the dog roll, which is the favorite among American children today, is the senseless jingle, any, mini, mighty, mo, catch it. You see it. You see it. And all them states saying this is our jingle. It's wild to me that I get hella comments talking about why you got to make everything about race. Your grandmammy them couldn't even count without bringing us into it. Mm. We're not making everything about race. We're just pointing out that you have. It was never Tiger. It was the hard R, like the hard R though. Amazon announced its new Sidewalk wireless network will be open to all developers to interact in their network. All Amazon devices, your Echo, your Ring, whatever you have, pushes out a wireless frequency. Some of these developers have IoT devices and they jumped on the Sidewalk network and they went out to the woods in South Carolina. They still had connectivity to this network. See, that might sound like nothing right now, but think about it. All those people who thought they could go out off the grid and go off network and they could and find you this sidewalk network from amazon is going to detect everybody it has over 90 percent coverage already over the whole united states so your smartphone your smart watch the fda now has to put out new warnings on medical devices because of this we'll get into that in a minute but everywhere you go now you're going to be able to be tracked and amazon is going to get data you know all of your devices are connected to wi-fi right but see, when the sidewalk network is activated even though you don't have internet because you decided I ain't paying, I don't want to give Amazon no more data. Amazon's automatically going to continue gathering data because it's just going to steal the internet anyway. from your neighbor's house. And it does this to everybody's house and it creates this mesh network. So the more people that have these Amazon devices, this is how they spread their network. And that's why they want you to buy these Ring devices, these Roombas, these smartphones, smart watches, fire television. All these devices steals your internet and then sends that internet to its other devices to make sure that everybody is connected to the Amazon. Amazon network. When they start putting smart, the word smart in front of stuff, smartphone, smart TV, smart watch, just know it wasn't smart. They put smart in front of that to make people think like, oh, if I'm buying this, that means, you know, my house is going to be smart. I'm going to be smart. I'm, you know, I'm living ahead of time. No, when they start doing that stuff is when they start cracking in to some stuff. Don't let that go over your head. When they start doing that stuff, they start cracking into some stuff. So anything smart is dumb. Oh my gosh. And then somebody said, if they can detect so much, why they can't find all these missing children? <laughs> What's crazy is I never heard of Amazon sidewalk. I don't know who has that. You got people that are not going to buy this. Then you're going to have your neighbors that are like, I'm definitely getting, I'm an, I'm a pro Amazon shopper i'm going to get that so then you thinking you fine but you're not because now your neighbor has it so now if your neighbor has it that means you got it but anything smart is dumb that's so funny they should have just called it dumb but you know why they don't call it dumb because if you was to say oh i got a dumb phone 15 th that's not promote like that's not good advertisement so you got to call it smart you got to get something that's going to make people feel good when they buy it like i have a smartphone thank you for taking the time to listen to myself and my colleagues today speaking to you Look. from the heart about what we've observed and what we're recommending as the Global Summit team of over 17,000 physicians and scientists from all over the world. We declare and the data confirm that the COVID-19 experimental genetic therapy injections must end. We must acknowledge that the genetic, genetic injections cause far more harm than good and provide zero benefit relative to risk for the young and healthy. They do not reduce infection, which is treatable and not terminal. Furthermore, the most recent data demonstrates that you are more likely to become infected or have disease or even death if you've been compared to the people. This is shocking to hear, 
but it is what the data are showing us. The data now show that these experimental gene therapy treatments can damage your children as well as yourself. They can damage your heart, your brain, your reproductive tissue, and your lungs. This can include permanent damage and disablement of your immune system. By the way, this man knows the law like I knew numerology. I would not say that to anyone else. Um, your forte besides that is holistic medicine. Yes. Um, you are known pretty much as the top holistic guy in America. And uh, for people who doubt that, all you got to do is look the size of his wallet. He is the guy out here who's making millions upon millions with holistic medicine. In the Cliff Notes version, how have you been able to pull this off and haven't had the FDA uh, step on your toes? Well, the FDA came for me, uh -oh. but, you know, being, <laughs> I but, bet they but, did. But, but being legally astute, you know, I was uh, able to to navigate. the The FDA taught me a very valuable lesson, man, that I've been able to run with. Y your mind has to work a certain way, man, in order to really, you know, benefit in life. So, you know, so you know, I believe in respect. I believe in uh, property rights, what have you. And so, when the FDA says that, you know. Uh, you're making claims for diabetes and herpes and have you, and it's against the law. A mm. person like me steps back and look at it and like, wait a minute, these are words in the English language, medical words, but still in the English language. What do you mean it's against the law for me to use them? I don't have the right to use them. And so that's when I learned like, wow, like we, we're dealing with copyright infringement, like these words, these disease words, these are disease words. Mm. They belong to the government. Then it clicked. It's like, that's their property. They make a lot of money off of this. They control people with this. And so I came up with organs. I came up with organ words, liver, lungs, kidneys. It just clicked. The, the FDA doesn't own your liver. It doesn't own your kidneys. It doesn't own your colon. It doesn't own your lymphatic fluid. It doesn't own your blood. I'm like, that's that's where we go. We focus on the positive and not the negative. I, I hope you people out there are taking notes. Yes, we are. This man's just telling you how to get him around the mad right now. Man, it's like, it's a game, right? So, but if you look at it, like, I don't want to use the- Uh-uh, that man was preaching. Who is this? Romans 12 and 2, y'all. Romans 12 and 2. And then it's also teaching me to not focus, because that, that makes sense. Not focus on they stuff, what they got copyrighted. Focus on the positive. They have us focus on the negative. Who is this? I'm looking in the comment section to see if, if they have his name in here. Hold on, because I want to see so I can give it to you guys. Or if or if I can't find it, maybe you guys can tell me. Oh, okay. I found it. I don't want to butcher it, but his name is D-J-E-H-U-T-M-A-A-T. D-J-E-H-U-T-M-A-A-T. Thank you, Team Murph, for the video. I physically held a key that opened every single door in the facility. I had complete access to every compartment they manufactured. What are you blowing the whistle on? That there are technologies at the South Pole Station that people can't even consider that exist on this planet. Directed energy weapon systems is something that people need to get in their vocabulary fast. The Ice Cube Neutrino Detector is not simply a passive listening device as presented for the science that they're claiming it to do. It also has the capacity to transmit. There are embedded in the ice what are called digital optical modules, DOMs. They're about the size of a basketball. The array embedded in the ice is one kilometer by one kilometer by one kilometer. It is the world's largest telescope. And now because we have proven that it can transmit, it's the world's largest directed energy weapon system. It is responsible for the earthquakes in Christchurch, New Zealand. If you eat watermelon every day, here's what will happen to your body. First, Say goodbye to thirst. Watermelon is made up of 90% water. Eating a piece of watermelon is equivalent to drinking deliciously refreshing water. And guess what? It's light on calories, but packed with nutrients like vitamins A, C, and potassium. Watermelon will boost your immune system and heal your skin with its revitalizing nutrients. If you want to lose weight, watermelon is just the thing. Thanks to its fiber content, it will fill you up without weighing down your stomach. Ideal for when you're feeling hungry throughout the day. But that's not all. Watermelon is also a remarkable enhancer for your muscles. It contains citrulline, 
an amino acid that Citrulline. helps boost your physical performance and improve your vascular health. And if you need to relax after a stressful day, watermelon can once again help you. It contains magnesium, an essential mineral for calming your nerves, hmm. curing your headaches, and giving you better sleep at night. Follow for more. I love videos like that because it really shows you that there is an alternative besides medicine. And it's the stuff that Yahuwah gave. Yahuwah gave us this stuff for free. It's just that we live in a we live in a, a place where they have taken that free and have made us, they make us pay for something that was given to us for free, in other words. That's another story for another day. Love this stuff because it really does teach you that there are benefits to fruits, vegetables, protein, if anything. You know what I'm saying? It's just all this stuff. Like if you really change from process to making it yourself, if you change from the fast food life to something that you like you have access to, or you can grow it, or you can just change your eating habits. Like I really do love to hear stuff like this because it really does help. But the main factor is is that you have an alternative besides running to medicine man i forgot i dropped this video huge trigger warning guys these five young men were forced to unalive really we're just looking for a high paying job and then stuff like that happened and what's crazy was i'm trying to figure out the one guy that unalive the other four did he say yes i'll join like i'm trying to figure out why did they take him out when he did what he did to his four other friends or if I don't even know if they if he knew I don't know if that's just a story if they really know each other or if it was just really five random men that just came looking for the same type of job whatever the case is I know you guys will break it down for me but it's sad because it's like you did all that took out four lives just for them to take out your own life they took him out so I don't I don't know if it was like a, a trick but like I can't watch stuff like that so hearing about it, it already sucks as I can already think and, and kind of kind of visualize, but I would take that over watching the real video any day. I don't know if y'all remember, y'all remember. Do y'all remember the time when it was like titles and it had letters and numbers in it? I'm trying to use my words correctly because I don't want to say the wrong thing, but basically like three men, one hammer. They had like one guy, one whore. Do, do y'all remember when that was a thing? I said that to say is that I know I can't watch stuff like that because when I looked up one of those videos that I named, it traumatized me. So I knew my eyes aren't meant to see that, but it just shows I have, I'm not trying to say nobody got a heart, but I got a heart. I can't look at that stuff. And it, it does so like, I just, I can't. So I'm just going to go off the imagination, just going off of what they said. But any more information about that, y'all let me know because I really want to know if he knew these people or these were really his friends. Did he say, yes, he'll join? And it was like basically a joke's on you because regardless if you said that you're joining or you're not, you know what we look like, so we got to take you out too. Like, I really need to know this story. I don't need to know it, but it just would be nice to know the background story because I'm not going to look it up. I, that was enough information that I needed. I just, I can't tap into stuff like that. I really can't. That was the end of today's video. I really appreciate those that have sent over videos. Today's was mainly uh, Akiva. So shout out to my girl Akiva, I really appreciate you. I'm sorry that again, she sent these videos back in August. Y'all, I'm in August. And right now we're in the month of, well, it's January 18th, but this should be uploaded in sometime in February. I'm speaking to myself in the future. I'm speaking to y'all in the future, so. Look, look at how that work but no i love you guys i appreciate you guys again if you guys want your video on here along with the shout out please add my discord the link is in the description y'all go check out the merch get you some blessed department merch we are blessed we in a department of our own shop 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 shopperky.com link is also in, in the description as well and i have all types of stuff it's not just blessed department but i do appreciate you guys in advance for all the love and support that i have been giving because y'all going crazy merch is like worldwide at this point but hey all praise to Yahuwah and Yahusha. And speaking of Yahuwah and Yahusha, all esteem, all glory, all honor, and all kabod goes unto them. I'm just a vessel out there working in and through, so I have to give credit and honor where it is due. Y'all have a blessed one. I'll see you on the next one. Shalom, shalom. You can't bring me down. I know who I belong to. Yeah. Why? I won't sell my soul.